Hello everyone and welcome back to Backcountry POV. So behind me is Nancy. She's my 1998 Chevy Astro passenger rear wheel drive. Starting with the front of the van. We have captain's chairs, driver and passenger side. Then in this cubby right here, I keep my little solar shower, some other knickknacks. And over on this side, I keep a code reader, my leveling blocks for the van. This is Boris. He's been in the van ever since I've had it. I just keep some knickknacks up here. And this is my trusty sun hat with quite a few parks patches on it. Moving on to the interior, I went with the widthwise bed layout. And then I have a little kitchen unit there that's all one piece, comes in and out really easily, it's just bolted to the bed frame. Right here's my fresh water tank, which feeds back through here to a sailboat foot pump. Very simple design. My sink is all kept up in here. So this flops open and I have this little string here with the carabiner which supports the table. Under here I have a little bit more pots and pans. My stove, this is my gray water tank which is a lot smaller than the fresh so I have to empty it out pretty frequently. So this is my curtain system right here and they're just on like flexible curtain rods. So they just close up real good. This flooring is just a plywood subfloor with laminate on top. I didn't do any insulation in the van really. I don't think it's worth it when you have this many windows. This back window here opens and closes for ventilation. And I covered it up using Plasti Dip to black it out from the inside. Now my van has no electrical system. However, I have one of these cheap little light bulbs from Amazon that hooks up to my solar panel out in the front. And I can also use that solar panel to charge this battery powered fan and it is amazing. It's magnetized, so I can move it anywhere in the van, turn it whichever way, tilt it. The battery lasts for like three nights. I have party lights going around, battery operated, front and back. This is how I set up the stove when I'm cooking inside the van and usually I'll put one of those fans up here blowing the air out. Now this is the sliding door part. So I have two curtains that I just keep up here again on the flexible curtain rod. Close those up really easily. This window also pops open and comes with a mosquito screen. Here we have the bed. It's a four inch memory foam mattress over a frame that I made. And I made the frame on slats just to get more airflow and uh, try and avoid mold issues. So far it's been working great. And above the bed on this side, I have cargo netting, which I keep all sorts of good stuff and along the back as well. And the nice thing about this is it actually doesn't intrude on your headroom unless you put stuff in it. So when it's empty, it's like it's not even there. Some of the essentials are some bug spray, sunscreen. This is Blockus, that's an essential. On uh, the side I got some rain gear, toilet paper, swimsuit, and towels. These are my back curtains, they're similar design, also on the flexible curtain rods. And I decided to put two so that it can hug the window a bit closer when they close. And here we are at the back of the van. So as you can see, I have very little underbed storage. I usually just keep skateboards, stuff like that. Sometimes I can slot my surfboards through. Right here, I have a little slide out table, which works out great, as you can see. The bumper doubles as a chair. And this is where I typically like to cook so I can just get the fumes out of here. 
And on the exterior of the van, I have a ski box full of lots of goodies and covered in souvenir stickers. And then this long black pole here is actually a piece of wood and I spaced out these hooks. And I'll insert a picture in the video and it's actually how I attach my awning to the van. And then over here is an extension to the roof rack I made for putting the canoe on and having the ski box. It's also great for surfboards. Out on the front here, I have some grip tape on the hood and I use that to climb the roof and get up to the canoe. And that is it for the van tour video. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you. And thanks again for joining me on Backcountry POV.